Ooh, contracts have been unlocked. To see available contracts, close this message anywhere on the screen. Hey there, I just finished Copperfoot and I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in the I'm in the contracting business and we could use skills like yours. If you're ever short on cash, let let me know and I will see if we have some work for you. Jason. Alright. Should we search a new topic? <gasps> ninja! Yeah, we're gonna do ninja. We're gonna research ninja. Cause then we can do Copperfoot 2. Copperfoot, it'll be like Copperfoot 2. Hangnail. Record of 10,000 units sold. Platform has been released. Successfully researched Ninja. All right. Can I do contract work? Useful tool to earn some cash when your balance is low. Oh, but so look at how much money we've got. I think we're fine. On the contract, you accept. If you miss the deadline for a contract, you'll have to pay a penalty. Uh, five weeks. Five weeks. Five weeks. Help debugging a convoluted base program. Play test a game. Management system. 18k. That's 20k. We'll accept the contract. Yeah, we got this. We totally got this. I, I hope we got this. Two, one, zero. Yeah! We'll transfer 20. Yeah! I just got word from a client that the contract was completed successfully. Excellent work. Usually I have new contracts every six months, so check back. Let's, um. Let's build this. Yeah! I'm making lots of money now. So when we release Copperfoot 2, find contract work. Accept the contract. It's off the market. Copperfoot is now off the market. We sold 14,000 units. Wow. Would hire again. Uh oh. This one's. This one's gonna be tight. This one's gonna be tight. Ooh, oh, we got this. Boom. 18k. Alright. Develop a new game. We're gonna do Ninja. It's gonna be action. And it's gonna be on... Let's be adventurous. $80,000? We'll do the G64. We're going to call this Copperfoot 2. The Hangnail. Next. Hell yeah, we're doing it in 2D graphics. $30,000. We'll focus. We'll put everything we have into this one because we can afford it. We can totally afford it. It's got a lot of bugs, though. We're gonna have a lot of bugs. Dialogues, level design, artificial intelligence. And put everything we have into Copperfoot 2, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. World design, sound design, graphics. We spent almost $50,000 on this fucking thing. It's a goddamn game. Let's get these bugs out. Yeah, alright, finish. 13. New topic, new combo. So we're really good at action games. Everything's leveling up! Yeah, we developed that game really quick for putting everything into it. I mean, like, really quick for putting everything into it. 
First reviews for Copperfoot 2 The Hangnail. Oh shit. They didn't like it. Waste of money? Uninspiring? Falls a bit short. Disappointing. Alright, well, let's generate a game report. That was... It's still selling a lot. It's by been proven to massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. I love the games that come playing with a controller. So much fun. So much more fun than a keyboard. Ninja and action great. Artificial intelligence seems to be very important. They just didn't like it. Maybe because it wasn't something new. Alright, we'll develop a new game. Let's do a... Uh, we'll do prison and it'll be an adventure and we'll acquire this license we'll we'll do it and we'll call this one uh, jail house call it jail house next all right Oh, we're in the negative. Uh, I don't like being in the negative. We'll not less focus on the engine. All right, we'll do that. Copperfoot Two still didn't sell ten thousand units. Sequels never do well. All right, dialogues we'll put less focus on. Level design for an adventure game, yes. We'll put less focus on game, not games. Less focus on sound design. Drop this and then lower the sound design a bit. Ooh, we sold 10,000 for Copperfoot 2 before it went off the market, so that's not bad. Off the market, it sold. Oh no, but it said we sold 10,000. And there's a lot of bugs in this one. Uh. Alright, finish. We're negative 30k. It's alright. Ooh, new record for design. Because we did adventure. We tried something new. Very rarely when trying something new does it pay off. Alright, let's see. Let's release it. See what... The reviews say for Jailhouse. Ooh. I like it. Prison and Adventure is a great combination. Shows potential. Quirky but good. I feel like we've seen the, the same reviews before. Alright. Let's generate a game report on it. 6.25. That's my overall average. Copper put 6. Alright, select. Better be. We fucking put a bunch of money into it. Holy crap, Jailhouse is selling well. Increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games younger gamers while others cater to more mature age groups. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. Target audience. Ooh. Don't forget creating custom game engines. This will improve your games a lot. You can create your custom engine through the action menu. All right, well, let's see. Got a lot of research. 
game report. Prison Adventure is a great combination. Story and questing would be very important for this, this type of game. Platform genre match. Adventure bad. So adventure is not good for... Is there any contract? Work. Let's see, this will pay 19. Four weeks, four weeks. It'll pay 21. Let's go for it. We got it. Following the success, we're circulating that Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console of their own. Oh, like Vina instead of Sega. Let's get some money. Oh boy, this is so close. Uh. Excellent work. Yeah. Play testing? I didn't even see what I was doing. Find contract work. All right. Create an animation for an existing logo. That's something I could do in real life. Off the market. Ooh, look at that. Plans to release it in the coming months. 17, so Jailhouse sold a lot even though it was a mismatch. Alright, so we're back up. Ooh. Let's focus on... Let's wait on the game engine. Let's do a target audience. Because we'll wait till the Vena is out. And we'll see. But we'll do a new topic after this. So we'll see what they're into, and then we'll research a new topic. You've successfully researched target audience. Great. New topic. Um, virtual pet. Let's do... are all that we have. Let's research disasters. Actually, no, I don't want to. Let's build our next game. Your main target audience for your game. Games that can be targeted at young people. Games can be targeted at young people, at everyone, or more mature audiences. Picking the right target audience for your game is important, especially popular with specific audience. Young, mature, we'll do everyone. We'll pick a topic. It'll be history. We'll make it an RPG. And we'll develop it for the tests. Alright, and we'll call this game um oh, forty thousand dollars. Jesus Christ. Actually, no. We'll make it for the G64. And we'll call this, so if it's an RPG history, we'll call this um, Blast from the Past. Oops. It's from the past. Oh no, George. Porch? Now we'll just keep a glass blast from the past. 2D graphics. All right, we're gonna bump the engine up. Everything needs. We'll drop that a little bit. Spent a lot of time working on the beginning parts of it. Story and quests. All right, dialogue. Dialogue needs to be huge. Drop this a little bit and drop that a little bit because it's an RPG. All right, level design. Still a lot of bugs. 
has been released. All right, bump up the sounds, bump up the world design. It's gonna be state of the art. Let's get these bugs worked out. Boom, finish. There we go. New topic, new combo. Side quest dialogues, level design, AI, world design, graphics, and sound. Ooh, nice. Release the game. This game console, Master V, by Vina, has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very marketed in North America, but flourish in other parts of the world. First reviews of our newly released game, Blast from the Past. Meh. <laughs> not bad, not good. Two out of five is not bad, not good. Has its moments. Waste of time. It's like a 4.5. Alright, we'll generate our game report. Might need to take on some extra jobs. We're selling a lot, though. What's our game report say? History and RPG is an okay combination. Story quests seem very important. Artificial intelligence seems to be not that important. Platform genre match, good. Platform audience match, everyone, good. All right, well, do you have any more contract work? Let's get that money. Here we go, perfect. Just in time, no problem. Let's do a little bit more, 24, three weeks? That's, that's a lot. An animation for an existing logo. Well, let's go with this one first. Let's see, we, oh no, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna be late, we're gonna be late. We're gonna be really late. Oh, why are you scratching your head? Uh. All right. Okay. Well, let's not take that on yet. We need a bigger. We need a bigger audience. Last from the past is off the market. Not bad. All right. New game. All right. Um. Let's make this mature. We're gonna go back to zombies. We're gonna go. Back to action. We're we gonna do how much is it gonna cost? Eighty thousand. We're gonna do it. Yes. Mature. We're gonna call this Zombros. Zombro. Homies, two ladies' night. It's gonna be two D. We ain't doing nothing. Nothing that's gonna be graphic based. All right, the engine. Oh, I wanted to develop the engine. Gameplay, stories, and quests don't really matter that much. New research, casual games, nice. Oh, I can do game reports at the same time? Oh, that's neat, what's this do? Oh, let's save. Settings. Animations, quality, sound effects, music on, messages. Platform news. Recent market data shows slowly losing market share against the PC, other PC manufacturers. And it's more expensive to develop for, so why would I do that? It's an unofficial statement. A G4 has said that the company has been unsuccessful in using higher priced computers. 
All right, we want the AI. Dialogue doesn't really matter. Increase that a little bit. There's mods. Official game dev. Huh. All right, world design, not so much. Graphics and sound, keep those boosted up a little bit. Dev stage three. Steve O'Connell, reporter from Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview? Yeah. Thank you for your time. We will publish the interview next week. All right, I think it's time to develop our own game engine. According to the interview, the company is working on the first game targeted at mature players. Classy Crustaceo, owner and CEO of Crustaceous Gaming, said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and we are willing to take the risk to give it to them. Many industry experts say that sooner or later, games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react. And that is not... It is not the only recipe for success. It is essential to build hype to ensure that players are excited about your game. At the beginning of your career, hype is mostly generated through random events, but once you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies. Ooh. All right, let's debug it. Hype 13. Yeah. Finish. Uh. All right, I think it's time for us to build our own engine. We've been using other people's engines for a while now. Let's build our own. Release game. Research. Engine. So while that's going, oh my god, we're negative $49,000. Quirky but good. Oh, there's a 10 there for a second. Action games work well on Master V. Enjoyable. Hey, Ladies Night. Zombro Homies 2, Ladies Night. Falls a bit short. Ah, uh, whatever, all games. Oh, we see that your financial services, you've just released the latest game. And offer you a mini credit to get over this month's payments. 73 paid back full amount plus a small administration of 25. In two months' time? What if I go bankrupt? Alright, I agree. Mm -hmm.